as the captain, I suppose, the day after, is it another case of almost but not quite good enough and it starts to get you down a little bit, or is it more positives? Um, at, at the time, it was disappointing, the fact that we got so close. I think uh, not many people were expecting us to, to get up to uh, their score um, after their second lot of 25 overs. and. To get so close and not to be able to go to the line when we got it in a position to do so was, was a little bit disappointing. It's a strange ground North Sydney, isn't it? You pretty much have to throw out the cricket rule with that. Yeah, it's very small and um, and that was one of the reasons we decided to bowl first because it can be a very hard uh, hard ground to defend on. And uh, We went out pretty confident if we could bat well uh, in that second 25 overs. Even though we're chasing 8 and over, we still have a pretty good chance of getting the score. And, I think a superb innings from, from Daniel Christian uh, really got us back into the game and um, unfortunately uh, in a position to win the game and um, an experienced player like myself probably needs to take a fair bit of blame for, for not getting us over the line there. Just from your chat after the game, like you really took it personally, like great innings obviously but just didn't quite get there. Yeah, well, as I said, uh, being an experienced player and someone who's been in that position before and, and got us over the line, uh, to, to sort of go the other way this time and, and, and to get out in a crucial time was obviously pretty disappointing uh, for me. And um, But that's what, how cricket works. Sometimes yeah, it, it, those things come off and sometimes they don't. But, um, yeah, it was disappointing in the end not to, not to get a win. His last month has been absolutely amazing and um, he, he's the, the most informed all-rounder in the competition at the moment. Um, in the conditions, I think would be perfect for him. Uh, pretty flat wickets, he clears the boundary, uh, smaller grounds. He's definitely the most dynamic all-rounder, I think, going around Australia. So he'd have to be right in the mix and um, I suppose I think he could be a bit of an, an X-factor in that Australian team, the way he plays. And Personally, I hope... Uh, he does because he's worked really hard and um, and as you can see the last month his form in, in all formats has been fantastic. As captain with the bloke like him and the team form is he was attempting to go to the well a bit too often maybe moving up the order overworking? Uh, oh no he's playing his role perfectly uh, especially with the new format um, we know if he comes in sort of the back end of the, back end of the first uh, 20 overs or early in the, in the next lot um, that's a perfect position for him and he can really open up a game and uh, We've got, uh, for most of the games this year, we've got off to sort of sluggish starts and then to claw our way back. So if we can just maybe get off that better start, then it'll click a little bit better. But we've been able to catch up in that middle period, especially over the last few one days. And, um, but in terms of Dan Christian's role, he's, he's playing it beautifully. And um, I don't think it really has to change at the minute.